What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and do some energy check-ins. Let's see here. I got my baby fed, diaper changed, and she's sitting in there with her sissy and brother watching TV since it's um, a winter day, snow day for school. Anyway, ain't nothing but a little bit of snow out there, but anyway, <laughs> let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Energy check-in. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? We have the thinking woman, financial constraints, okay? So somebody is in this lack energy here, the temple path and all tied up. Somebody is in a lack energy. There's something that's being left out in the cold or something. This could be like a job. Maybe you're going through some type of financial strain, financial stress. Remember, you got to switch the way you think. You can't, um, if you're trying to manifest more money, you can't think in the lack energy. You have to think of uh, things like, I have enough, you know, be positive, flip it around. Um, but there is something I feel that you are leaving out in the cold because you feel like it's not on your path. Like it's time to let it go. You have all tied up the temple path and financial constraints. It's something that, that could be like an attachment or that you've been tied to for a very long time. Um, but that's changing 23, uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. That's changing. 2 plus 1 is 3. Your ships are starting to come in here. 3 plus 1 is 4. This could have to do with our home life, some type of stability, some type of uh, financial situation in your life here. Sorry, y'all. had to open that blind. This could... This could be one of those things like maybe you're becoming single, you're moving out on your own, you're thinking about it, how you're going to afford this, how you're going to afford that. Um, but Spirit is asking you to step outside your comfort zone. Happy family in the garden and the gate. Some of y'all um, in the community card here walking away. Yeah, some of, some of y'all are walking away from like a family dynamic, a, um, a community of people, uh, friends. You're stepping outside your comfort zone. You're no longer allowing that to... I keep you tied to them or it's like, you know, just because it's family doesn't mean you have to stay with them or be with them or just because y'all been together this long doesn't mean you're you're you have to be uh, with them going forward. Like you can move on and have your own path and leave them out and be OK if they're not in alignment, if they don't want to change, it's OK to move forward here. Yeah. Anxiety and action. Some of y'all may be stressed out about this, but. I feel the only way you're going to get out of this stress is by either loving on yourself more and realizing that you deserve better or that you deserve something else. Because whatever this is, is keeping you in this lack energy. You're not getting, you're not getting what you, um, you're in your head more. You're not getting what you need out of the situation. Um, especially if it comes to love, money, something, something you're stuck in, whether it's like, whether it's like you've been, say it's a job, you've been at this job for years and years and years, and you're like, man, I got years on this job. You know, I don't want to just up and leave and then start over somewhere else, but you're not getting what you need out of that job. So uh, there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of, um, for, uh, this, the, the number on this card is 47. You reduce that, it's 11. So it's, it's a lot about you walking in your purpose, you being on your path, going in the direction that you're meant to go. Things are starting to leave out of your life, you know, that no longer are in alignment with you. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, action. Seven plus one is eight. It's the infinity sign. So what you put out is what you get back. Uh, you can create and manifest whatever you want here. Door to romance. Some of y'all want love and you're stuck. Yeah, angel of balance. You've been stuck in this lack energy of feeling like you're not getting what you deserve. This could have been, this could be a relationship. Like you've been in a relationship and you're not receiving the love that you desire. And so it's going to call you to take some sort of action, whether it's walking away from a person, leaving a person behind, um, moving, relocating, changing jobs, um, applying for that position. There's something where you have to take some sort of action to get what it is that you want with that door to romance, to be happy, to feel love, to be in love. Or if this is like maybe you've been neglecting yourself, OK, and you got to maybe you haven't. Maybe, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I never have anything to wear. These clothes are too big. They're too small. Some of them, some, yada, yada. Some of y'all need to do self-care to balance yourself out. Maybe you've been putting yourself on the back burner here. Rest and rejuvenate and care and connection. Some of y'all are like wanting to date, wanting a new, um, 
partner or wanting a loving, caring relationship or wanting relationships around you with people that truly care about you. But um, some of y'all still have some healing to do with this rest and rejuvenate. So some of y'all need to just focus on yourself. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you feel like you don't have the energy or the effort to go out there and date. Uh, some of y'all could just literally be healing again, like healing from a connection that didn't work out. Magician in the mirror. Uh, but y'all are y'all are manifesting a loving, caring connection. Some of y'all could still be healing from a past situation where somebody neglected you or made you feel left out. So what's the thinking woman for Scorpio? Mm -hmm. That's kind of sad. <laughs> You know, what's the thinking woman for Scorpio? What's the thinking woman for Scorpio? The thinking woman energy for Scorpio. Envy. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges and friendships. Some of y'all, some of y'all, the reason why you're not receiving what you need is because there's a lot of people that are around you that are envious about you. This could be another reason why you're in your head because you're like, man, like, I, who, who do I trust? I just heard, who do I run to? To feel this empty space. So some of y'all are like, who can I trust? Y'all have a lot of jealous people around you. Especially when it comes to friendships. You may doubt it or there was a, a person that was around you that was jealous of you. It's, it's, and it's like, I don't understand. I don't get I don't get why. Because you have doubt. I release the need to know, the, know all the answers in friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Um, somebody taught you something. It's like... There was some type of lesson that you had to learn from a situation, no matter if it made you feel jealous or envious or or if it made you feel this lack energy. Somebody could have been playing on your mental that made you feel jealous or envious, like manipulating, playing games with you. But I see things coming into balance for you, judgment and balance here, like things are going to be balancing out. Like, if it's love that you want, I, I do feel like you're going to be getting it. You just, um, I feel like you're still healing from a certain situation that caused a lot of jealousy or this is people that are jealous of you. What's the action card for Scorpio? What's the action card for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Change? Yeah, there's change. Forgiveness. Some of y'all just need to forgive a situation, let it go, and move forward. There's change. Some... There's action that needs to be had. There's change that needs to be had. Maybe you were in a relationship with a person that kept you in this lack energy. Like they never gave you what you deserved. They never gave you what you needed. They always kept you in this energy of needing more. Like they, it's, it's, it's manipulation. I feel like that's changing. Like, you know, they always had you pouring into them, but they never poured back. I feel like you're forgiving yourself. You're being honest about it. This sucks. And you're forgiving yourself and you're realizing I have to change or I can't be in this relationship anymore or I can't be attached to this person anymore because I'm not. Yeah, you're setting yourself free. Freedom and judgment. Because this is keeping you in this life. Like this is keeping you from being happy. Because it's like. How do I explain it? It's one of those situations where like you are waiting for somebody to show up for you and they never show up. You always show up for them, but they never show up for you. And that sucks. I've been there several times. Honey, I just think my love life is probably... <laughs> <It's, ew. laughs> this is why I prefer to be single. Like I don't like being... I mean, love is good now, but then it's like, when you, you just be like, man, like, <laughs> people so shady out here. <laughs> it's hard to trust people. It really is. And, but then, you know, anyway, it's not about me. Let's see, the thinking woman with the envy card. What's this about for Scorpio? The thinking woman with the envy card. The thinking woman with the envy card for Scorpio. Woo. Yeah, you're becoming clear about something. The sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And then you have photographs. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. There is, yeah, not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So there was a relationship. Again, you weren't getting enough in it. Like somebody was breadcrumbing you purposely. They did this so that 
you would feel jealous so that you would like they might have made you compete for them. They weren't willing to show up for you. They wanted you to do all of this for them, but they never like stepped up to the plate. Some of y'all are like reminiscing about this or realizing this from the past. Some of y'all, this is your past relationship or relationships. Some, listen, some of y'all were dealing with a, a non-committal person. Okay, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. And the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Somebody was egotistical. Somebody was gaslighting. If this person, you know, if you haven't released this person, this person's still in your energy. They, they ugh. This is somebody like they want you to be in this breadcrumb and lack energy. They want you to accept the bare minimum and never give you what you deserve. That's the that's their way of controlling you. They're non-committal. They're not going to commit. A lot of y'all are realizing you're in relationships where you're not getting what you deserve out of it. Like you're constantly pouring. They have you in your head. They got you being envious and jealous. They got you feeling like you're less than. You weren't, you weren't good enough. What's the action with the change card? What's the action with the change card? Reminisce and keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. This was a lesson with this camera card. Now it's time for you to change. If you, for example, say you start dating somebody and they not showing up for you, let them go. Let them go. Focus on you. Look, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. That's what I'm starting to realize. Like you can't, you can't be in a relationship and constantly pour into it. Like there's, there's two cups and you're constantly pouring into their cup and they're not pouring anything back. Like, yo, I need this. I need that, you know, and you showing up for them and you doing what they like and doing what they need to make them feel secure. And then they not doing what they need, what you need for them to do to feel secure. Honey, if you've already know, went through that and you see the same, uh, the same cycle, if you've seen the same cycle and then you explain that to them or you talk to them about it and nothing's changing, oh, baby, it may be time for you to get on that horse and ride on. Yeah, not today. I see some of y'all, some of y'all may be blocking somebody. Not today and heartbroken. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. Yeah, I see some of y'all blocking somebody because you're still heartbroken. So this could be somebody from the past, you know. Trying to communicate, trying to talk, and you're just like, no, I'm good. I'm I'm happy single. I'm happy on my own. I don't I don't want this. I don't want to go back to this. Because I wasn't getting what I needed out of it anyway. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure future. It's like you may miss this person. You may miss them in your energy. You may miss them in your your space. You may miss spending time with them, but it's even if you went back to it, you knew you know that it still make you unhappy. What's the thinking woman with the envy card? The thinking woman with the envy card for Scorpio, please. It's a yeah, of course, shift in reverse. It's a breakup. Something about a breakup. Something about somebody distancing themselves. Community and despair. Somebody could be like sad in the community, or people see this person sad, not not as happy, not as you know, happy go lucky. Something in the community could have been seen, you know, or somebody's being seen that they're moving forward, moving on with this journey energy. They could be maturing here. We got mature man, mature woman, and a false person is behind the mature man. So whoever this is, they could have been a false person. They could have been very, they could have lied, deceited here, or there could have been a lot of lies and deceit in this connection, in this relationship. But I see... Um, I see whatever this is, like with the community of despair, somebody sees somebody is sad or out of work or like being left out in the cold, but somebody's justice is they're going to be abundant. They're going to be successful. Like that's their karma. They're, it's like they're gaining success. They're gaining recognition. Somebody's going to be very wealthy. Somebody's going to be very abundant. Somebody's going to receive a lot of money, a lot of success. Sometimes when you, when you go through heartbreak and stuff like that, you just... Uh, transmute that energy okay that's what i did with my youtube channel like i was going through probably the worst the worst it was the worst breakup in my life it was like the uh i was going through my ex leaving me we were married we have 
two children. He was going towards another woman and all this and all that. Put me in competition with this woman. Like, I had to share my kids with this woman. It was, it was a mess. And it was like, everything was being forced on me. I was told my feelings didn't matter. It was like, you're going to, you're going to deal with this regardless. I don't give a fuck. And it was just like heartbreaking because I had known this person for years, for like 17 years. And it was like out of a, it was out of nowhere. It was like, fuck, F you, F you and your feelings. This is what it is. And it was like, I had to deal with that. And like, all I could do was distance myself. And it kind of just came out of nowhere because I had been manipulated for years you know, holding on to somebody, waiting on them to change. And that was my dumb, dumb decision. But anyway, but this is like one of those situations. Like a lot of y'all, y'all are going to see like your money falling in, your abundance coming in, success happening for you. Um, that's why I share a lot of stuff on Facebook. Like stuff I see, I just share it. I'm, half the time, I'm not even going through the situation of what I share on Facebook. I just share this stuff because it's something that maybe somebody else needs to see. Like small little quotes or things like that. Like I share them because I've been there. I've went through that. And it's like, man, like those, sometimes those quotes is the exact quote that you needed to read or you needed to see. Like, you know what? They're right. They are right. It is better for me. Like I do need to do this. I do need to do that. You know? Okay, what's the action with the change card for Scorpio? What's the action with the change card for Scorpio? And yeah, I, I apologize for my voice. My voice is cracking. It's it, this the temperature is changing. It's messing my voice up. Uh, distant horizons and change at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I, some of y'all could be like moving, like literally picking up, moving. Others of y'all, y'all are just distancing yourself from like a particular person, a particular relationship. Uh, a connection that was in your life here. Oh, yeah. A lot of y'all have outgrown it. A lot of y'all have outgrown it. Like you've had to mature. You've had to overcome this here. You have pathway despair. And then you have poverty and mature woman. And it could be mature male or woman. Okay. I, I just see a lot of y'all have like learned. There's something that needed to be learned here. There's false person here. Expectation and occupation. A lot of y'all had to learn something here from this situation. You've had to move on, like, with this false person expectation, occupation. You're realizing, like, this person or whoever this is, like, they, they're they not going to work with you. They're not going to work with you. They're not going to put in the work. And this could be even you lying to yourself thinking that something's going to work out. And it's not. And it's, it's like you've learned your lesson. Like, if somebody keeps... Leaving you out in the cold, keeps neglecting you, keeps making you feel like you're not worthy or valuable of what it is that you know you deserve. Like, let that person go. That It's not going to change. It's not going to work out. Yeah, message of concern and change. It's, it's not going to change. Sometimes you got to just relocate. That's what I'm looking at. I want to relocate. I want to relocate. I want to pick up and move. And, like, my kids, they're like, no, mom, all of my friends are here. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but, like, mama need a change. <laughs> mama need a change. And it's kind of like I've been in this, where I live now is where I grew up at. And it's kind of like, ugh, I need a change of scenery. I need a change of people. I need a change of a lifestyle. Like, I'm just, I'm ready. So my plan is this year is to, like, try to stack as much as I can, save as much as I can, so that I can uproot and like move somewhere, you know, change where I am. <laughs> but some some of y'all, maybe that's what y'all thinking about. Like, you know, I need a new city or something. What's the thinking woman with the envy card for Scorpio? The thinking woman with the envy card. Low IQ. The thinking woman with the envy card. Yeah, for a lot of y'all, y'all were in a relationship that kept kept you in like a low vibration. Or like whoever this person was, they kept you in a low vibration. They wanted you to feel jealous. They wanted you to feel neglected. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold or abandoned. Or, you know, this this was their way of keeping control here with the low IQ and the bad habits. Yeah, unfazed. And, and it's like they're not even bothered by that. But 
they didn't care. Extra triggered. Yeah, they didn't care that they made you feel this way. They didn't care that they made you feel left out in the cold. Because this allowed them to come and go as they please, you know. Clarify the thinking one with the envy card. Give me one more. Thinking one with the envy card. Yeah, this was a, a, a way of manipulating you. Divination abuser. Wasting time. Stuff no changes limited. Groupie. This person, they could have like dated multiple people. Wanted attention from multiple people. They didn't care what you had to offer. You know, this was their way of manipulating the situation. They could have watched tarot on you to try to like see where you were headed or where you were going towards so that they can manipulate your energy. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. Tripping on you, obsessive lover. Yeah, it's 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 like a it says dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, and karmic. This was a karmic connection. This was somebody that kept you in a low vibration, had you like some of y'all might have even became codependent on um tarot because of this person. Trying to figure out, like, why is this person treating me like this? Why does this person make me feel this way? Why? It, it was because that was their way of control. They wanted to control you. They wanted to be in and out. They want they they don't want to give to the situation because if they give to the situation, then they lose control. You see what I'm saying? It's like they wanted to. This is how they operate. It's, it's a form of manipulation. And y'all, in the past, in my younger days, I was like, why does it, you know, I was trying to figure out why did this person, it took me a long, it took me in my 30s to realize what this type of, <clears throat> oh, they don't want me to tell it. <clears throat> it took me until I got in my 30s to realize this form of manipulation. Fake smiles. Yeah, this part, ooh. This person, they would like lash out at you. They might have like brought other people in the situation, pretended that they were happy and everything was great. This is the type of person that would like, yeah, they lost their chance or you did. And then this is the thing, like if you moved on from them, they would be pissed because they wanted you to stay in this lack mindset so that they can come and go as they please. But the moment that you grew and you overcame that and realized that this person is not going to change and this is never going to work out, they lost all control because now you're not in that toxic energy anymore. Now you're not fighting and going back and forth and, oh, this is my man. This is da, da, da. You're not doing all that anymore. And they realize that you are fighting for this like you used to in the past. Okay, what's the action and change for Scorpio? What's the action and change for Scorpio? Dust it off. Yeah, you're... action and change for Scorpio. Told you. Caught a case. Some of y'all, y'all were dealing with a person that just slept or they had like a a sexual addiction or something. They slept around with any and everybody. Okay, they were willing to open up to any and everybody here. Some of y'all they could have spread rumors, you know, said that you slept around with multiple people and all this and all that. Some of y'all, this person gave you an STD. Maybe your pH balance was off for the women out there. What's the action of the change card? Child services. If you have children with this person, this person neglects their kids. They don't they don't take care of their kids or they're just in this childish energy. They haven't grew up. Girl fight, they put you in competition, had you competing for them. Girl or do fight, okay? Dirty offer. And you know, any and every time that they would come around, it would never be legit. It was always a catch to it. It was always a catch to what why this person was coming in. Like either they were messaging you because they needed something, they wanted something, but they would still never give you this would be like they would never give you closure. They would never give you an explanation. They would never take accountability. Some of y'all are realizing that and you're trying to distance yourself from this person. Karmic friends, it says, can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Some of y'all, this is a friend, a family member, an ex-lover, something like that. This person could come back and be like, oh, we just want, I just want to be friends. But you know, there's, there's something shysty behind it. This person could have bullied you online, talked bad about you. Made you, made you feel like an outcast with the scarcity uh, tactics here. Made you feel like an outcast. But it, it was because they were threatened by you, intimidated by you, bothered by you. They didn't like that you were taking your power back, that you weren't allowing this person to run in and out of your life the way that they used to. You put up boundaries. You set up uh, like a wall. Like, no, you're not doing this. I'm protecting my peace. I'm protecting my heart. I'm protecting my mind. You don't get to manipulate me anymore. Somebody realized that they couldn't do that. They couldn't come in with this dirty offer because you seen through it. Like, baby, come on now. Watch. Clarify the dirty offer for Scorpio. Unfazed and giving money. And some of y'all, this person, 
photo proof getting evidence some of y'all y'all find out that this person again just wants you to give to them whether it's your time energy effort money whatever this person may have used you for money may have used you for your energy your sex whatever you know anytime this person comes around it's coming with some bs and so i feel like a lot of y'all y'all are looking for a change like i just want i want to move away <laughs> like i me personally i don't even want to see this person in my life ever again <laughs> And like I've told this person that, like, I just want to move. I don't want to see you again. I don't want none of that. Like, I just want to be distant in a way where you cannot reach me. Because <laughs> no matter how much this per it looks like no matter how much this person says or does, like, it's just as long as you're in the vicinity, as long as you keep answering that call, that text, whatever, it's, it's, they're always going to come with some some BS. Especially when you become unfazed by them. Like when you're doing good and you're happy on your own and you're not giving to them anymore, you're pouring back into yourself. Oh, baby, watch. Look, thief and boss daddy. I told you. This person, this thief card, it says rob, loss, theft, physical, or emotion or emotional. You know, any and every time, some of y'all, this is like a boss or like a father figure or like baby daddy, baby mama, something like that, okay? But a lot of times, what y'all are realizing that anytime you involve yourself with this person, you come out with a loss. They come out with a win. Either they get something out of you, whether it's your time, your energy, your your a stroke of the ego, <laughs> whatever they need. You're realizing like, dang, every time I answer that text or every time I answer that call or every time it's, it's like they come out with what they need to make themselves feel better. But I get nothing I get nothing but end up hurt or end up sad or end up feeling less than every single time. Never fails. So whoever y'all dealing with, that's that's what's going on here. Let's see. Any advice? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do let's do this. Any advice for a Scorpio? It's like this this person will never change. The only thing that will change is you, your actions. You, where you live, how how you're like changing number. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Anything else that Scorpio needs to hear? Any advice for my Scorpio? And some of y'all, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you just need to change your number. What's going on with Scorpio? Or you have. <laughs> this person still re I don't know. What's going on? Woo. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Some of y'all need to surround yourself with people that have true, genuine feelings for you. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. I feel like there are, I feel like some of y'all have friends around you that are really true and genuine. But you may feel like you keep, end up meeting the people that, that are always, that always got their hand out for something. They never pour back into you. There's something within you that's attracting this. And that's what, and it's a hard pill to swallow, okay? I'm not calling nobody out. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's it's one I have to swallow myself. I attract people that it's like, you know, when you're a healer energy, you attract people that are like broken or that they need something or that they want something or like you end up pouring more into them to help them to get to get them where they need to. And then you end up depleted. I do it too. And it sucks because I'm like, oh my gosh, I did it again. And you can't be mad at nobody but yourself because it's like, okay, well, I should have stopped. <laughs> you know, All you can do is laugh at yourself and just be like, okay, what is it that I need to heal? Mine was like codependency, abandonment, uh, just overgiving. Like that's my problem is overgiving, overgiving and overloving. And I had to realize, baby, you got to put a cap on it. <laughs> okay, you got to put a cap on it because people will keep keep coming back they would keep siphoning they would keep using and taking advantage of you because you love so much because you pour out so much you know and sometimes you gotta cut it out <laughs> okay you gotta blockity block 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 baby you have no idea how many times i know block numbers on my phone like you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna block this for now and it, you, it don't have to be forever it could just be until you feel healed enough and then they come back and you still don't feel healed, healed enough Baby, block it again. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Or block it and don't unblock it. Anyway, but this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.